cartoon animator and character animator. They both animate, one would hope. So which one to go for? Let's discuss. Before we continue, let me tell you about Skillshare, which is a platform that has hundreds of classes about animation, drawing, illustration, and several other creative fields. We've got you guys this course from Skillshare about Adobe Illustrator, which will show you the basics about the software. It's an introductory course that is designed for absolute beginners, and it is taught by Omni Ali Amr, who will show you the basics of Adobe Illustrator. The course includes sketching, vectorizing, color, shading, and more. The Skillshare platform offers a wide variety of additional related courses and the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will receive a free month of premium membership. All right, now back to the video. Cartoon Animator and Character Animator are, as no one would have guessed, animation software. They focus primarily on puppet animation with an added twist, provided access to motion capture technology. But before we go anywhere, how do they work? Cartoon Animator Developed by Reillusion, Cartoon Animator comes with everything you might need to breathe life into your character models. It is a one-time purchase, so there is no subscription shenanigans to worry about. However, it's by all intents and purposes a massive investment, as motion capture technology is not by any means cheap. This alone bumps up the price to 3,000 US dollars from a base price of only 150. These add-ons include facial motion capture features with webcam and iPhone camera support, the latter having some of the best face recognition tech in the market, as well as full body support. The interface is fairly simple to understand, it's mainly divided into your standard workspace and your asset manager. It's where you you can find most of its unique features including, but not limited to, a lip syncing generation system that can directly interpret audio, a very precise spring system that takes advantage of a physics engine to interpolate movements of your model based on the motion of a single bone. It also comes with free deformation tool for squashing, stretching, and overall exaggeration. It has a standard mesh deformation, but it can even extend to the model skeleton for when you need to add the drama. And most impressively, you can motion link your model to pre-existing 3D animations. This massively reduces on production time. It also comes with standard video compositing and VFX support. With all that said, the most attractive feature, as stated, is the motion capture support. Whether it's for facial or full body, it is as precise as to track individual joints such as hands and fingers. This package is designed with the same thought process as a 3D animation software. Most of the processes are automated and require more programming knowledge, which is a good thing in a professional setting. It allows to make the medium more accessible overall, easier to teach, and would make the finished animation look more consistent across different teams. Adobe Character Animator Similarly, Character Animator is a motion capture animation software made to be a bit more accessible to the masses. It does have a free version, for better or for worse, as it is extremely limited in what it can do. It doesn't allow you to create or import your own models, and it only provides a set number of movements. For what it's worth, it does include webcam-supported facial tracking. The Pro version is locked behind the Adobe monthly subscription, and is not listed as a standalone subscription as of now. So if you want to access all of its pre features, it will be 53 US dollars for individuals per month, with plans for students and businesses as well. The program itself operates on tabs. The home tab is similar to most Adobe programs, it also includes pre-made characters and models you can mess around with. The rig tab is where you export your character model and label all its different parts and features. You can add different mouth shapes for audio lip syncing, different face angles for model rotations, and the different skeleton parts for the body. There is a record tab for, well, recording, and the streaming tab for all of you aspiring VTubers. The program is relatively limited, as in it is tailor-made to simplify motion capture for the amateurs or the individuals, but it doesn't offer much in terms of manual animation as that is reserved for Adobe Animate. What about the learning curve? A similar yet different is the moral of the story. None of the programs is particularly harder to learn relative to the other, and they're not really 
that hard to use in general. Uh, the statement needs to be said with a massive asterisk. Uh, learning animation isn't easy by any means, but that is where motion capture and puppet animation in general come in very handy. They allow you to automate most of the process rather than manually animating individual frames. And what the motion capture or 3D motion link misses can be made up for thanks to interpolation and the physics engine. That being said, a cartoon animator simply offers more, which makes it by virtue a little more difficult to use. A simple look at character animators interface is enough to completely understand what it's about. Each tab is clear as day, and it's extremely concise in what it wants you to do, so it won't take long to get used to it. On the flip side, a cartoon animator better supports manual animation. It simply has more going for it, so despite its interface being relatively clear, it can be a bit more overwhelming to learn. Now to the pros and cons. Number one con, price. <laughs> Both programs lock their most interesting features behind massive paywalls, as expected from premium animation software. But even more so from motion capture technology, Cartoon Animator does offer a fully usable program in its base form, it's the add-ons that exponentially inflate its price. Character Animator is similar in how it is hidden behind a full Adobe subscription. The free version doesn't offer much, so if you want the full experience you will have to get the entire collection, which is not necessarily a bad thing, it's the Adobe collection collection after all. So to sum it up, one by one, Cartoon Animator is a complete animation program, minus maybe traditional frame by frame animation, but if you had your eyes on it then drawing up individual frames was never your intention in the first place. The keyword here is automation. It's perfect for breathing life into your 2D models in the most time efficient manner possible. Don't underestimate the value of 3D motion link and dynamic springs as well. It's tailor made for industry professionals looking to cut down on production time, whether it's through the use of actors or by recycling 3D assets. Adobe Character Animator is relatively more basic in the sense that it doesn't offer as much, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, as in it's very good in what it offers, and the fact that it only offers the one thing means it doesn't have to compromise with simplicity. It has one of the easiest rigging systems I've ever seen, and is an overall great way to accelerate your process. It's not however equipped with the means to produce a full work of animation from start to finish, let's say, which means that you'll have to jump ship between software more often than not. Uh, TLDR, the one is overwhelming now, the other will be a lot more work later. Final verdict. And for le plat de résistance, who is the winner? As for most things, it depends on what you want. A character animator is the more complete software, perfect for the industry professional, but also is simple enough to use and learn as to not alienate less experienced animators. And it's also the perfect jumping off point to transition from 3D to 2D. The fact that character animator is locked behind a bigger subscription means that you will generally get more value for your money spent. Uh, you will get access to the entire Adobe collection, which in all honesty is worth it. But if you don't want over 20 programs and only desire the one, the free or trial version will leave you rather lacking. It is the more user-friendly of the two given how specialized yet simple it is, and the manner in which the program is overall laid out is very intuitive. It's perfect if you want to include it in a pre-existing pipeline, but it isn't as valuable of a standalone. Well, that was fun. Uh, as always, the goal of these videos is to shed some light, add differences between programs to better help you make the choice that suits you best. So the most important thing is to consider what would make your process smoother and what would make your overall experience better. We do hope that you found this video helpful. Be sure to share your thoughts if you have experience with either of these in the comments below. Be sure to leave a thumbs up and a sub and we'll catch you soon, so do take care. Bye!